Happy Labor Day! It certainly does feel like I'm about to give birth, I have to say. <laughs> there have been some uh, false labor pains in the last few days, but it's all good. It's all good. As you can see, I am nestled and settled inside my new home. Look at it. Isn't it wonderful? You know, it's so amazing how easily we can get used to something simple. And then to be out here in the park amongst the trees and nature, oh my goodness, my spirit is just soaring. You know, just to be, I, I feel a way. I mean, it's, I still have all the busyness and the things I have to do, but it feels as if I have stepped out into a wonderland. And I'm excited. This is one of those rare, rare, very rare moments, I'm certain, because I'm the only one here. Everyone else is gone. I have the whole place to myself. The kids are not here yet, and um, Tuck and Maggie are packing up their stuff so they can bring it over. And I had a couple of guests that were staying the last couple of nights, um, wonderful girlfriends that were just kind of keeping me company and, and uh, helping me get settled in and learn some of these things about leveling and propane and um, hot water heaters uh, and all sorts of things that I didn't know about. So I'm getting a huge education on all fronts. But it is Labor Day and so often we hold something in our belly for so long and it is that pregnancy that has to birth and has to come out into the world and then has to find its way to move and crawl and find its legs and run and I feel like I'm at that place. I feel like I'm in a place of giving birth and I wanted to take a moment today to really just have gratitude for the moment-to-moment -moment awareness. I don't think we take the time to really think about how we have awareness all of the time and every time that bursts it is another step of opening. It is another um, moment of increasing into the bigger self, the unknown self. And I know my year has been filled with one awareness after another, especially in really willing myself to move beyond who I am. And I want you to take a moment, too, to really think about, you know, what are the awarenesses I've had in the last day, in the last week, in the last year, and have gratitude for that. Because that is truly, that's the gift of being here. That is, that is the, the cherry on top. That is what all of the light beings that want to come to planet Earth crave. That, that moment to moment awareness, you know, of having that aha. It's, it's, um, I'm sure universally orgasmic. So, you know, take the time to really be grateful today and know that every Labor Day something within you is birthing and that we have to appreciate and regard those moments that life doesn't pass us by. That this moment, this opportunity that we've been given, that we've been given and chose to have is ours and for the taking and for the making and for the creating. I received a beautiful email from Noel Eisen. He's the gentleman that I actually got the RV from. His wife has been in the hospital. She was having heart surgery. So, Betty, I hope you're doing well. Hope you are just up and around and feeling very comfortable. Um, and Noel actually sent me an email, an article that was written. And I want to share that with you because I find it so profound. And I find it to be the beautiful way to begin this Labor Day and, and to begin this embarkment of what the Rebel Road is about because it is, in a sense, the essence of one of the messages that I want people to know. So I'm going to read this to you if you'll just bear with me. Let's see if I can get it. There was a time, it seems like it was yesterday, when I would see older people like my grandparents and say to myself, well, it's a long time before I look like that. And I went on my way without giving it much thought. You see, my grandparents were in the winter season of their life, and I was in the middle of my spring. Yesterday, I didn't think much about time. It was one of those non-issues for me. I looked ahead to a long road that seemed to have no end. I couldn't see this afternoon, much less tomorrow's, hidden away in my winter yet to come. You know, time has slipped by. But in reality, it went by like a rocket. Was it just yesterday I went to the prom? Was it just a minute ago I got married? Strange thing about time. It seems like long ago, but I can't figure out where the years went. I know I lived each one of those days, but all I have is a snapshot of my past. 
I remember how life was then and the dreams I had for my future, but now the winter of my life is here and I have no idea what happened to my youth. As I went through life, I remember meeting older people and I just figured those days were way into my future. I didn't think about how it was to be their age or what kind of daily life they lived. As the person I was changed, gradually into the old person who now inhabits my body, many changes have become evident. Person uh, Phone numbers that I used to dial by memory now require written documents. My golf drives are more suited to a par 3 course than a par 5 I used to reach in 2. Nobody warned me about how many pills I might have to take or how going for a walk would turn into a physical challenge. As I learn to adapt to this winter in my life, I am cheered by the thought that when my winter ends, I take that final journey. I have a new life coming, an eternal spring to enjoy. I try not to dwell on my regrets, and I take pride in the things I did for others. I do not worry about what might have been. Rather, I rejoice in the love and happiness I shared with family and friends. For those of you who are still in the spring of your life, stop for a minute and promise yourself the following. I will live my life in the moment and enjoy every minute. You have no promise you will live to see your winter, so don't postpone the little things that bring you happiness. Tell those you love you love them every time you see them or speak to them. Try to discover the joy and excitement of helping others. Share your love in your heart and discover the satisfaction it creates. Live your life full every day. Enjoy something new each day. Have fun every day and make each day your own great day. Noel Eisen. Is that not amazing? Isn't that what we're supposed to do? Enjoy each day. Allow every single day to be the beginning of a new spring. And you know, he's talking about the seasons of life, but we go through that repeatedly in our own lives. We have births and deaths and rebirths constantly. I received the guidance that the very first show in Alexandria, I was to invite certain people to be on stage with me. And that is to be the discussion. What is the experience of life? How do we move through birth, death, and rebirth? And how can we take the experiences of midwifery, hospice, life after death, and the choices to move through change, and use those very same principles in each and every moment that births and dies in our own lives? So I'm looking forward to that conversation. And as with each event, there will be people along the way that I talk to that take us into deeper conversations, that help us all go to a depth we've never gone before. So I look forward to you sharing the journey with me and for me sharing all of this with you. And it is all being done completely in service. Just in love, have whatever you will have of it, participate in whatever way you'll participate, if you want to serve or, or share back or uh, support the Rebel Road in any way, go to therebelroad.com. We have donation buttons. We have product buttons. We have ticket buttons. You can support in any way you want. And we are more than grateful to allow you to be a part of it in the way that fulfills you. Enjoy your Labor Day. Don't have the labor pains. Just allow a sweet and easy birth. In love, of love, with love, and as love. I'm Simran Singh on the Rebel Road. Look, the Rebel Road tour bus. How cool. Talk to you later.